have two more old Welsh traditions, Christmas and New Year's and uh, Twelfth Night traditions to share with you. Um, it may not be mysterious as the uh, the Mary Lloyd or the Hunting of the Wren, but we have Clenig. Clenig uh, was a tradition where young children would be up very early in the morning uh, to set off about, once again, caroling and reveling, and they would decorate an orange, our clinic. The orange would be decorated with clothes. Uh, sometimes at the top of the orange, a, a little sprig of holly would be inserted into the orange. Sometimes pieces of wheat would be inserted to the orange. At the bottom of the orange, you had three little twigs that would serve uh, like a tripod, a stand to hold up the clinic. The children would simply carry the clinic with great joy, and they had to make sure that they could get to as many houses as they could before 12 o'clock noon. Uh, there was some folklore attached to this tradition that, uh, that says that if you got to all the houses that you could before 12 o'clock noon, the people carrying the clinic, you were sure to have good luck for the following year, and your village would definitely have good luck for the new year. So the, the people in the village always look forward to hearing the very sweet voices of children arriving with their clinic and um, singing their songs. And the children, in turn, for their singing and their reveling and their display of their orange, decorated orange, would receive candies and cakes and treats and sometimes a few little coins. So this really is a truly beloved tradition uh, in Wells that uh, they still practice. And it would be something wonderful that you could easily make with your family uh, to keep your own Welsh traditions alive this Christmas and New Year's and Twelfth Night time. The last tradition I'm going to share with you is taffy making. Taffy making was done on Christmas Eve, and this is truly a very old tradition that's still in practice. After people would have their Christmas dinner, and after the Christmas dishes were cleaned up and the fire was set, uh, taffy making then would begin in the kitchen. And this was a, a, a candy that was easy to make, simple ingredients uh, that didn't cost a lot to make. So many of the families uh, made this taffy for their holiday time. But more importantly, taffy was made with the idea of this in mind. Taffy took several hours to make, and this kept people awake all night long making their taffy. So then they would be awake for their early morning carols. And in the Welsh tradition, it was very important to be up very early, cock row, very super early, uh, to sing your carols. And these carols were, t were titled Ply Gain, Ply Gain Carols. So the taffy making, the candy itself, is a Welsh Christmas tradition. The making of the uh, taffy was a tradition so that you could be occupied and you would be awake in order to be up super early, three or four o'clock in the morning, to sing your ply gain Christmas carols. So these are traditions, once again, that you can keep alive and share this Christmas time, this New Year's time, and this Twelfth Night time. I hope you enjoyed.